In this tutorial, you will learn how to free up storage on iPhone and iPad. Before you proceed to delete apps, games, photos from your iPhone or iPad to free up storage space, you should assess where the majority of the storage space is gone. Go to Settings, General, iCloud and Storage Usage, and then select the Manage Storage option from the Storage category. You will see the complete breakdown of the storage space being used by apps on your device. Uninstall unnecessary apps. Choose the apps which you don't need, and then tap Delete App. Clear offline content. To clear the offline content for Apple Music, Go to Settings, General, Storage and iCloud Usage, Manage Storage, Apple Music. Offline content isn't only for music either. Videos, maps, and more can be saved offline depending on which application you use. So make sure to check out the common culprits, including Waze, Google Maps, VLC, and so on. Deleting podcasts. If you are a heavy podcast listener and use the stock podcasts app on your iPhone or iPad, you can regain some precious storage space by deleting the podcasts that are already present on the device. You can do this by going to settings, general, usage, podcasts, and then tapping on the edit button. You can then delete all the podcasts to free up storage space on the device. Delete Safari cache. To do this, go to settings, Safari, clear history and website data. Moreover, you can delete data that visited website store on devices by going on Advanced, Website Data, Remove all website data. Optimize photos stored on your device. If you are using iCloud Photo Library to save and sync all your photos and videos across devices, you can optimize the photos that are stored on your device to take up less space. Head over to Settings, Photos and Camera, and proceed to select the Optimize iPhone Storage option. Now all the photos stored on your iPhone will be optimized for the screen of the device, which will thereby reduce the space occupied by them. Delete your old messages. If you are a heavy iMessages user, it is entirely possible for the app to take up gigabytes of storage space on your iPhone or iPad, especially if you don't delete your messages every once in a while. To delete your messages, go to Settings, Messages, and tap on Keep Messages option. Now depending on your choice, either select 30 days or one year. Clear app cache manually. There are some apps that have options to clear the cache. Similar to Safari, these apps store information temporarily or cache it so that the next time you use the app it will compute previous processes a little faster. Delete Siri Voices. You can delete a downloaded voice by going to Settings, General, Accessibility, VoiceOver, Speech, and tap the edit button to bring up delete options. Tap the delete button on the voice or voices that you'd like to remove. Reset to factory settings. If all else fails, you can restore your device to its factory settings. This will erase all of the data and settings on your iPhone. 